Hello and welcome back to Learning and Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about talking. Specifically, how we can use dictation in products such as Microsoft Word and Microsoft OneNote to quickly speak into the computer, have our voice translated into text, so that we can then go back, take all of those ideas, reorganize them, construct them in a more meaningful way, but get them captured very quickly through dictation. Now, this feature can be useful for a lot of different functions, not just going in and getting a lot of information all out at once and organizing it, but also for people that may have issues with typing or that just want to be able to speak into their computer to capture their thoughts in notes and such. Let's go have a look at that feature. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it. And if you like videos on how to use technology to learn and teach better, then subscribe to the channel. I have quite a lot of videos here already, and I'm making more all the time. Let's go have a look at dictation in Microsoft Word and Microsoft OneNote. Here I am on my computer. I've already opened up a blank document in Microsoft Word as well as uh, added a page in Microsoft OneNote. So I'm going to show you how to use both these programs and the dictation features of both. So let's have a look here at Microsoft Word. It's quite simple to, to start dictation. All I need to do here is go to the dictate icon here and you can also search for it if you can't see it. And when I use the drop down arrow here, it'll tell me different languages that are currently supported. And it'll also give me some preview languages that are here as well. So for example, if I um, use something like German, so if I click on German and I say dictate in German, mein Familie hat von Deutschland ausgekommen. So this is my family came out of Germany. So and I, it noticed that it goes through and it recognized the, the information here. Now, in this case here, some proofing tools in German were not being checked because I don't normally speak to my computer in German. I normally speak to it in English. But you'll notice that if you are using a different language, the first time you use that different language, you may have to go and download some of the proofing tools there and you can install the, the German uh, language pack. If you're already using another language, that'll already be there. I'm going to go into dictate and I'm going to use Canadian English because I actually am in Canada and I am using that. So it's downloading the language pack, but just to show you that you can use a different language. Um, sorry, I'm not going to be able to use all the languages of the world. I know German, I know English. That's all we have. So let's go back. So now I'm in English and now let's go in and I will, I'll talk to it in English. Once I have dictation turned on, I am able to speak to my computer and quickly capture my thoughts and ideas. Period. New line. This can be very handy if I'm doing something like reading a book or reading a web page and I don't want to use my keyboard, but I want to capture my ideas and thoughts that I am having when I'm reading that book or the web page. Period. New line. Now you can see that when I was dictating in the last paragraph, I kind of got lost a little bit in the words I was saying, and that's okay, because what I can do once I've got everything here in Word is I can go in and I can clean it up, period, new line. It's a very handy feature that I find very useful, period. And now I turn dictation off and it's no longer capturing my voice. It takes a little bit of getting used to, and the one piece of advice that I would have for you is to make sure that you're enunciating your words and you're speaking correctly. Um, it also helps if you have a good microphone, so you don't necessarily need an expensive microphone, and it will work with your built-in microphone, but every PC is going to be a little bit different. Um, even if you go and you get a little inexpensive uh, clip-on microphone, like I use for when I'm video uh, doing my video recording, they're, they're very inexpensive. Here I am in OneNote. I'm going to say notes on a cool book. So you can already see that my typing skills, I make mistakes sometimes when I'm typing. So same idea. I have the dictate option here. Same language choices. I'm going to go into English. Now, if you're using dictation for the first time, 
I have to remember back to when I first enabled it. It's most likely going to give you a privacy notice because this is using speech recognition and it is, I believe, going into some cloud services to do that. So it's warning you that it's doing that, that it's actually using that as a learning, doing some machine learning in the background, I'm assuming. But let's dictate into Microsoft OneNote. Oh, there it is. There's the privacy notice. So it says here, um, it'll, you know, it's going to go into the documents and use speech services. So you can go and find out information about the privacy there. Hit dictate. I'm imagining right now that I'm reading a book of some sort or a web page. And when I go into that book, maybe there's like an interesting thing that I want to make sure I remember. Period. New line. For example, I'm reading a book right now called New Line. Digital Schools, colon, How Technology Can Transform Education. New line. You'll notice right away that it doesn't do a great job of capturing absolutely everything, but it does a good enough job that I can go back and clean this up after the fact. So there you have dictation in both Word as well as in Microsoft OneNote. It's super handy. Hope you found this useful. It's easy to set up and I recommend you go and play around and practice with it yourself. Hope that video was useful for you and if it was, give it a like. Again, subscribe if you want more videos like this and more videos on learning using technology and we'll see you in the next videos. I have a few other ones here that you might be interested in taking a look at right now.